good morning and welcome. It's Monday, it's the 15th of May, and it's just after eight o'clock. And we've got um, the Oud USD, uh, as ever. Right, uh, we've had this nice green candle on that this morning. Um, the commitment of traders, we had uh, 21,000 positions extra long. Uh, which still makes it overall short, but we're expecting a bit of a, um, a retracement up here. I've put a line in at uh, 74727. I wouldn't be surprised if it overshoots a little bit. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. We are, or we like to be short of this pair. We're totally out at the moment. So we're waiting for a climb back up, up there to about 75. Euro USD, a uh, little bit of a green candle this morning. We're expecting this to short. There was 38,000 positions short extra on, uh, on this uh, pair um, on the commitment of traders. And we're expecting this gap to be filled here. So um, in fact, I, I think it's gonna go further, but uh, that's my first target anyway, fill this gap here. So um, that would be nice. Euro JPY, ah, yes, we're, um, we've got a little bit of weakness in the yen this morning. Yeah, yeah, so uh, we, we've had a little bit of a green candle. I can't see it going too far, uh, so um, uh, we'll, we'll just have to keep an eye on that. Euro New Zealand dollar. Uh, pleased to say we've had a bit of a short on that this morning. This is this is where most of my heavy money is. Uh, I took my trade at the bottom here uh, and um, I've taken the loss and I, I've put it back in at the top. I, I made a few pips out of it, but uh, nothing to write home about. Uh, this is on the four hourly, but well, put it on the daily. Uh, that's better. Uh, this is my target uh, to start with, obviously, uh, where it. Um, where it gapped up, so uh, we'll be keeping an eye on that. GB out. Um, yes, we were expecting to pull back. Um, a bit of strength in the out and a bit of weakness in the pound, and um, you know we we might well pull back to this blue line here, which is like the first major resistance in my view. Um, out CHF. Yes, <laughs> well, uh, I, th I think this should do really well, but I'm gonna have to wait a while. Uh, we've had a green candle today. Um, we're at the top on the stochastic. We're still below the 50 on the RSI, uh, and I'm just touching the 20 day moving average. So uh, we'll see how that goes, but uh, it's not quite going where I thought it would at the moment but the Commitment of Traders report is with me. Uh, S&P 500, little bit of a green candle today. Uh, nothing to write home about. Um, you often get that first thing on a Monday, so uh, we'll, give it, we'll give it till the, the end of the week, but I, I see this as shorting down. That's a weekly chart, put it on the daily, that's better. Right, here we go. Uh, Oud CAD. Um, we're expecting a bit of strength in the Australian dollar, uh, but there's also been a bit of strength in the Canadian dollar. A quick look at this is the oil, uh, Western Texas. This uh, this has shot up today. Um, the commitment of traders did actually say that we might have uh, a bit of um, strength in the oil price. Uh, I love that trade short as it's a positive swap um, and it's an expensive to long it. So, you know, Oud MXN, uh, Mexican peso, another red candle today, a bit disappointing. But what I really love is the commitment of traders. We've got 55,000 positions uh, short the Mexican peso. That's, that's long this pair, but short the peso. Um, this is very positive. Uh, sometimes, uh, I think a few weeks ago on the Canadian dollar, uh, we had uh, a position where it looked like it should be long, but what had actually happened was 
a load of positions had left. Now, people taking their money off is weakness, and uh, just because it goes long on the uh, on the graph for the commitment of traders doesn't actually mean strength. You have to look at um, how it got there. And uh, on this, it was a lot of people going short, a lot of people putting their money where their mouth is. They are short the Mexican peso. So um, I have high hopes. USD, JPY, well, a, a little bit of weakness in the yen this morning, which is disappointing. But um, I think towards the end of the week that we're going to see a, a bit of a move down in this, I hope anyway. USD CAD, same thing, strength in the Canadian dollar. We've got this red candle down here. Uh, I think this might go down to the 135 uh, line. We've got a bit of support there. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, Euro GBP. Um, Yes, this um, on the commitment of traders, uh, we were short the euro, and uh, we are long in the long run for the the pound. But I, actually, I'm expecting it to short a little bit this week, so uh, we'll just keep an eye on that. We've uh, put our trend line on. Um, this is it could be quite an interesting pair, so we'll you know we'll just watch it at the moment. It's one that I've picked because I thought it might be interesting. <laughs> right, Euro uh, Swiss Franc. Uh, this is the better one that I've picked out of the two. Um, the uh, commitment of traders is short the Euro and long the uh, Swiss Franc. So we should see quite a good move in this, uh, even better than uh, closing the gap. It should continue a bit. We're um, uh, we've seen a, a green candle this morning, which, which again isn't too unusual for a Monday morning. Uh, so um, uh, we'll look towards the end of the week and see what happens with it. But um, quite often uh, the, um, the Swiss franc is a safe haven currency. So if you get a short on the euro, you get a long on the, on the Swiss franc because it, it, the people put the money in it for safety. So... Um, there we, oh yes, hang on a minute, just have a quick look, silver still going up, oil's going up, and um, yeah, so I'm, I'm keeping my eye on this because I want to get back in it, uh, it's, it's a cheap swap on this one if you're going to do a long term trade, if you're selling it, uh, I'll never buy silver as the overall trend is down on it, and uh, the oil, this looks really interesting again, <clears throat> When it starts, um, I think it should get up to this level here, this blue line, which is resistance. And I can do the same on the silver. Uh, I'll put a blue line in. Uh, that's, uh, that's a fail point past back here, historically. Uh, we've got the fail point there. We could put a line up and put another line across. But this is a resistance for the silver. And uh, if we can get somewhere close to that, then uh, we could do with shorten it. Anyway, look, thank you very much for watching and um, I do appreciate your subscriptions and your likes and uh, uh, see you all tomorrow, hopefully. Thank you. Bye now.